Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope you are doing great today. In our last lesson, we looked at creating and managing table spaces. We talked about the data blocks, we talked about the extents, we talked about segments, and of course the table space and data files. We also looked at the five types of table spaces we have on our Oracle database. So today we're gonna to go a step further by actually doing some practices, right? And for this practice, we'll need to create a new pluggable database. As you can see, I'm already logged into my database. So let me just clear this screen. And I will be using the database configuration assistance to create this database. So for that, I'll just type DBCA and press enter. Now this might take um, a while to load the database configuration assistant. Okay, so our database configuration assistant page is up. Um, let me just um, try to adjust this a bit so you will see everything. All right, so the next thing you want to do is to click on manage pluggable databases and then click next. Now we're going to choose the default, create a pluggable database and click on next. This pluggable database will be created in the container ORCL, right? So we'll just click on next. So the template we'll be using is PDB dollar sign seed, right? That's the pluggable database template, default template. And then we'll click on next. So the pluggable database name will be TBS PDB. That's short form for table space pluggable database. Okay, we are using it for our practice. Now, the name of the administrator will be TBS PDB underscore admin. And then the password will also be TBS PDB underscore admin. Confirm the password, TBS PDB underscore admin. Okay, so click on next. Now, when you receive this error, just go ahead and click yes. And then ensure that this box is checked. Create default user table space and click on next. Review the summary and click on finish. And let's wait for the creation of the pluggable database to be completed. So I'm going to pause this recording until this process is completed. Okay, so you can see that the pluggable database TBS PDB has been plugged successfully, right? So we we'll need to close this page. And then the next thing we want to do is to connect as sysdba and then type the command show con underscore name just to show our current container. Now you can see that we are in the roots container. The next thing we'll try to do is to alter our session to move to the new pluggable database we just created. So for that, we'll use the command alter session set container equal to tbspdb. Session has been altered. So um, to confirm, show con underscore name. So we are in the pluggable database we just created. Now we'll try to establish a connection through the SQL developer, okay? So we come to our SQL developer and then we click on this um, plus sign. The name of the connection should be TBS. And then the username is TBS PDB underscore admin. The password is also TBS PDB underscore admin. Connection is basic. Host name is tests.com. And 
and then the service name is tbspdb.com. So let's test the connection and see if it will be successful. Yes, so it means we can connect successfully, right? So at this point, I have to save the password and then click on connect. Okay, so um, we've been able to connect. However, there's one more thing we need to do to this administrator. That's to grant him the create session and DBA privileges, right? So let's come here and say grant create session comma DBA to TBS PDB underscore admin. Okay, grant succeeded. So we come back here to our SQL developer. Okay, you can see our connection is successful. Another thing we'll try to do is to update our TNS name entry, right? Because if I try to connect this user like this, let's just say, um, let me copy this, sorry. Let me copy this. Now, if I say connect, user slash the same thing password at tbs pdb you can see that it gives us a warning that we are no longer connected to the database that's because we've not updated the tns name entry so to do that we'll quickly come here And then go to other locations, computer, U01, app, Oracle, product 19, db underscore one, and then look for a folder known as network, network, and then come to admin and find a file tnsname.ora. So let me open this. And then I'll take this entry. I'll copy this and then I'll come here and paste it. Now I'll change this to TBS PDB. And then change this one to tbspdb.com so this way we can connect using the tns names as well right so i'll close this close this let's come back to our sql plus terminal so i'm connecting back as the sysdba and if i say show con underscore name i'm in the root container so let me alter the session again. Alter session. Set container equal to TBS PDB. Now let me try to connect the user again. Connect. I'll take the all of this. Copy. And then I'll come here and paste it. You can see it's connected because we've been able to update the TNS named entry. So guys, I don't want to make this video too long. So I'm going to stop here for today. In our next video, we'll start creating our table spaces and then assigning a user to the table space we create. So thank you for watching this video. I'll see you in my next video. Bye for now.